Joe Biden has now officially launched his reelection campaign. Um, he put out this video, which you're about to see here. I have not seen it yet. I have not seen it yet. You guys are getting the, you know, my real time reaction to it. Let's listen and we'll break it down as we go. Freedom. Personal freedom is fundamental to who we are as Americans. There's nothing more important, nothing more sacred. That's been the work of my first term, to fight for our democracy. This shouldn't be a red or blue issue. To protect our rights, to make sure that everyone in this country is treated equally and that everyone is given a fair shot at making it. But you know, around the country, MAGA extremists are lining up to take on those bedrock freedoms. Cutting Social Security that you paid for your entire life while cutting taxes for the very wealthy. Dictating what health care decisions women can make. Banning books and telling people who they can love. All while making it more difficult for you to be able to vote. Okay. Right off the bat here, he's saying how Republicans are bad, which is true. Everything he said there is true. Yes, Republicans bad. What are you going to do? And you get the sense he just said, he's like, oh, we're going to protect Social Security. You're just going to protect Social Security? I mean, look, this is the problem with incrementalism. This is the problem with that, you know, corporate centrism. It's like, the best you could hope for is to not move more in the wrong direction. He's not even saying, like, I'm going to try to expand Social Security, for example. It's very much like, Republicans bad, I am not them. And it's like, good. I mean, I'll take it at face value. Are, has the... Uh, Biden administration been better than any Republican administration in my lifetime? Yes. Do I want more than that? I want way more than that. I at least want somebody who's going to try, who's going to fight for way more than that. And you're not getting it. You know, it's it, like on the abortion front, he's like, it's a defensive argument, right? It's not like we need to go on the offense and codify Roe versus Wade into law. He's not even going on the offense to get back to where we were. He's just like, I'll make it not worse. So those are my initial thoughts. And then beyond that, he starts with freedom. Democracy. You can't do that when you're refusing to debate your own primary opponents. You can't pretend like you're the biggest supporter of democracy when you're actively being undemocratic in this process right this very second. So it's the vague platitudes, right? Freedom, democracy, good things, not bad things. It's like, ah, oh, come on, man. When I ran for president four years ago, I said we're in a battle for the soul of America, and we still are. The question we're facing is whether in the years ahead, we have more freedom or less freedom, more rights or fewer. I know what I want the answer to be, and I think you do too. This is not a time to be complacent. That's why I'm running for re-election. Because I know America. I know we're good and decent people. I know we're still a country that believes in honesty and respect and treating each other with dignity that we're a nation where we give hate no safe harbor. We believe that everyone is equal, that everyone should be given a fair shot to succeed in this country. Thank you for choosing Thank us. You. Well, every generation of Americans have faced a moment when they have to defend democracy, stand up for our personal freedom, stand up for the right to vote and our civil rights. And this is our moment. So if you're with me, go to JoeBiden.com and sign up. Let's finish this job. I know we can. Because this is the United States of America. There's nothing. Finish what job? You haven't brought up policies. The only time you brought up policy is to say Republicans are bad and on the wrong side of it. And I'll protect what we have. We, protecting is not enough. You got to go further. There's nothing here about universal health care or even like a public option. There's nothing here about lowering prescription drug prices, which he has the authority to do on his own if he so choose through the Bayh-Dole Act. There's nothing here about free college for everybody. There is no agenda. There is, there's nothing about the PRO Act. There's nothing. There's nothing here. This is platitude feel-good, virtue signal -y stuff. That's all this is. Look at the pictures of me being president, bro. See, here I am being president and stuff, bro. Basically, nothing we cannot do if we do it together. Uh, okay, let's finish the job. What job? 
what is your purpose? What are you running on? The, to the extent he answered that question at all, it's, man, these elected Republicans are really bad. That is true. But it's not enough to just say we're going to protect the status quo and make it not get worse. That's not enough. Look, I'm, I'm begging voters out there to see through this. Usually with politicians, they'll make some promises up front and then they don't deliver on them. But he's at the point now where he's like, I'm not even going to make any promises. I'm just going to say I'm the status quo protector. But what if the status quo isn't good? What if we have over 60% of Americans living paycheck to paycheck? What if we have over 45,000 Americans dying because they don't have health care? What about that? What if we, had, if we have record income and wealth inequality? What about that? There is no, there are no solutions. There's no solutions. Just like, hey, I'm the president and I am presidenting. Let me keep presidenting. I just, I, I'm begging you guys to ask for more than this. Again, I want to be clear. There's no doubt that this administration has been better than any Republican administration. And this administration has been better than the Obama administration in terms of what they've got accomplished through a more divided House and Senate. There's no doubt about that. But still, it's nowhere near enough. We're still solidly in the neoliberal era. We need to break free. We need to get back to the FDR approach, which is this idea that government can actually be a force for good. And th this ain't it, man. This ain't it. And now you see, by, by the way, why he feels like I have to go out and like coddle influencers and pay influencers and give them their own briefing room in the White House in order to basically buy support for my campaign. Because this isn't going to get grassroots support. It's not going to get it. It's not going to be organic. Because what are you even saying here? What are you saying? It ain't much, that's for sure. Hey y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.